Hi and welcome to this tutorial where we'll go through the logic functionality in Netigate. In Netigate, it is possible to control the flow of your questions and how they're shown to your respondents with the help of our logic functionality. We strongly recommend that you build your entire survey before you add the logic to your questions. To use the logic functionality, simply click the logic symbol in the upper right corner of each question. There are several ways to work with logic in Netigate. The most common way is jumps, where we want the respondents to skip past certain questions depending on an answer given earlier in the survey. This is most commonly used with follow-up questions with, for example, a question like this, the MPS question. How likely are you to recommend Netigate to a friend or a colleague? Now, we want to follow up this question with the question to our detractors. So, we've created a question, please comment on your answer. Now, to make sure that this is only displayed to the detractors, we have to skip past this question if your answer is in the passive or promoter category. So, clicking the logic symbol, we then get to add a new rule. And this rule will specify that we want to jump to question, three background information, when the answer on the MPS question is greater than six. So this means that all the respondents that answer seven, eight, nine, or very likely will jump straight to page number three in our survey, which is background information. Now, we don't have to create a jump for the respondents as you should see question two, because that's just the next question in the survey so no logic is needed to show this question. And that's important to keep in mind when working with logic in Netigate. We never show questions. All the questions are always shown to everyone unless we specify otherwise, such as jumping past questions or hiding questions. For example, here on page number five in this survey, we have the question, have you ever been in contact with us before? Now, let's say the next page here, the questions regarding our product should only be shown to the respondents that have been in contact with us. So clicking the logic symbol, I can now add a new rule that says hide this whole question when the answer on question number five, have you ever been in contact with us, equals no. Which means that all the respondents that answered no to question number five won't see this question since it will be hidden for them. Easy, right? That's all for this tutorial, thanks for watching and see you again soon.